welcome to another episode of Haunt Talk. In today's episode, we are going to be reviewing Freddy's Haunt in Al... Oh God, Alquipa? Alquipa? Alquipa. Alquipa. PA. Um, we have reviewed this once before in 2019, um, and we are going to be reviewing it again today. Um, it's a different kind of haunt. It's kind of like a trail that's enclosed. Yeah. Yeah. But um, before we start the review, make sure you like and subscribe. And make sure you're checking out the merch store to, um, you know, if anything there catches your eye. Our logo's plastered all over a bunch of stuff. And it's a cool <laughs> logo. It's cool. It's a cool logo. Yeah. Um, also check out our Patreon. It helps support us. And we will be sending out little things in October. So if you're wanting that, make sure you do that by then. All of that being said, we are going to start the review now. Which, as always, means we must refer to the... Book of the Day! Book of the Day! Book of the Day! All right, so um, before we start the review, I'm going to preface it. I'm just going to kind of, I guess, a little bit of spoiler alert here, because anytime we have a review that's not overly positive, it can create a lot of hate. So one thing I think that we are definitely probably going to be doing this year, I feel like it's been coming that way a little bit more, is being a little bit more... I don't know what the right word is. Not necessarily harsh, but a little bit more honest and actually sticking to the grading system a little bit more because like, for example, most people just think if something gets like anything below a six that it's dog crap. But like, would you actually using a scale of one through 10, like for a five, for example, is average. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people, when they hear a low number, they're like, oh, that's terrible. I'm going to go like send them nasty, like hate mail or whatever they might do. This review isn't going to be overly positive. When we watched, we did go back after going um, to it and watch the review for 2019. And I do think that we rated them a little bit too high in multiple categories. Now there were things that were for sure better when we went in 2019. <coughs> we go to so many though, I will say my actual memory of going, very sparse. Yeah. Very sparse from actual memory, but watching the review, I'm like, well, I know those things are still there. Like when I saw certain scenes, I'm like, I remember this, but um, but yeah, I just wanted to preface that with the beginning of the, the review. In no way do we mean anyone like an insult that works there. Um, we're just, and you might go and have a much better experience than we did the night we went. Um, so yeah, I'll just say that. So one thing I will say that's really cool is when you get there, they also, like the last place we reviewed, Fright Farm, have a time ticketing system, meaning you yes. don't wait in line. They had probably the biggest bonfire I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God, you could see that thing from space. Yeah. It was just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. They had a really good, <laughs> a really good band playing when we got there, like some like progressive rock, like psychedelic band, and they yeah. were shredding up there. That was cool. Yeah. Um, and really cheap concessions. Really cheap concessions. I actually got, and I know it was just Swiss mix mixed with coffee, but I think they added something in it. It was really good. Yeah. They call it. So if you if you go there and you see something on the menu called a stink drink, it's just coffee and hot chocolate mixed together. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's name. a thing that people call it as a stink drink. I found that interesting though. Um, but yeah, there's not too much theming on the outside. So like literally, literally, and I'm sure I have a picture of it, like the, I don't want to call it the facade, but the outside of the building thing that you enter, is just like basically a giant wood box. Yeah. It, it looks like they took like plywood and just put them all together and just made a giant yeah. building out of all this plywood. It's just the craziest thing. It's a really weird uh, structure. I don't really understand it. Um, also, like, I don't know why there isn't a facade there. They've been open for a very long time now. It's like, put a facade, make it look like a castle or something. Yeah. It couldn't be that expensive. And like, it seems like they sell a lot of tickets. Mm -hmm. It's pretty popular at this point. Yeah. It's one of our more popular videos. Um, and that's why like, we need to go back and check it out. And it was open early too, um, which might've been a little bit to the detriment to the view of the stuff we're gonna get into, but um, yeah. So we were 17, so we actually waited outside for a while, which I was actually having a fun time just being by the fire. It was a beautiful night out, just drinking our coffee, listening to the band. Yeah. Uh, but then it, you know, it came our time to uh, go in. Um, this haunt is very old school. Yeah. Um, so like, like we said, it is an indoor haunted trail. Yeah. So. It, most of what you're on is the ground. Yes. Like dirt. There are some times where there'll be like kind of like a flooring. And I believe that's just a bunch of like, I don't know if sheds are the right word. Not sheds necessarily, but like, oh, like things, like carport mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is, honestly. 
<coughs> a bunch of b- buildings without floors, and you just, cause you're walking on, it is, it's like a trail, you're walking on ground, yeah. but it's all enclosed, though. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's really odd. Um, but um, it is very reminiscent of, like, an old-school dark ride. Yeah. Where, like, you know, like, if you go into, like, like, if you've ever been to Waldemir and you go into Wacky Shack, and they have, like, like just, like, a scene with, like, chicken wire in front of it, and you, mm. like, see the, the scene lights up, and a thing happens, and then you turn, and you go to the next area. That was how the haunt was kind of set up, where, like, there were these scenes behind chicken wire. There was a few scenes that were outside of that, um, and then there were, like, bigger rooms that with more elaborate sets and stuff like that. Right, because there were some elaborate sets, but the majority of it was that. One thing I liked about it, though, um was that you got really close to a lot of these things. Yes. Like, sometimes, like, they were right there, which the unfortunate thing was, and I, maybe this goes in Scare Factor, but I just want to mention it now since we're talking about it, is there's so many opportunities for a scare to happen when you're so close to something, but nothing ever did. Yeah. Like, nothing really happened for those. Because um, the only thing that they, and it got annoying, is those little, I don't know the right term for it, but the little, like, they look like it's a, electricity arcing they're like yeah, those little the snappers they're, yeah they're super loud and they like blow your hearing out they had so many like right beside you i want to say there was at least five yeah it was ridiculous yeah and there was so many of those and i'm like i'm like i might i'd rather have air cannons at this point and you know how much, if you watch the channel you know how much i hate those things Ooh. um but yeah there were some cool scenes, like uh, there was a big graveyard scene, but the problem was it was so dark in there, there was like almost no lights, so where it's like if they just would have lit it up a little bit, it would, yeah. but like you could tell that they put a lot of work into that scene in particular, but like, it wasn't lit up at all. Yeah, like even if they just lit it so that it looked like like maybe the moon was up there, like maybe something, something like moonlight coming down, but there was because just yeah, you couldn't really see anything. Nothing going on, very little music played throughout it, not much ambience, um, very dusty as well, which comes from the fact that it's on like dirt. Dirt. <laughs> But this got very dusty because there's nowhere for the dirt to go because it's enclosed. <laughs> and there's a few times where I started coughing mm-hmm. um, because of that. But like I said, I I, I kind of like the old school design. It's just there wasn't quite enough to look at and there just wasn't enough. There, there needed to be a little bit more set dressing. Mm-hmm. Um, in like the end of the haunt. Oh, and then there's this obnoxious maze. This is this is kind of like a give or take thing. Some people will love mazes. The, our friend that was with us, Isaac, he seemed to be having a fun time. They're like blaring music in this part, like, um, like radio, like yeah, like metal, mainstream, rock, mainstream rock, like yeah, corn, that kind of thing. Um, he was having a good time. And it took us a while to get it out of that thing, but it gets a little annoying because it's kind of even know if it's like a strobe light. It's like a pulsating purple light that'll like completely yeah. go off and then kind of flash a bit and then shut off. Um, yeah, those kind of mazes, they kind of annoy me a little bit. I know that some people really like them, but for me, I'm like, I'd just rather see a couple cool scenes mm-hmm. and be done with it. But And and they weren't even, like, the walls weren't even painted or anything. It was literally just plywood. Well, yeah, that was, was something really else weird. that was weird, because I don't even think they were painted black. No, like, some of them were. Like, okay, the first were. start of it, they were painted black, and then all of a sudden it was like, they were like, ah, oh, we ran out of paint, whatever, just leave it. And it was just plywood, and I'm just like, yeah, this is weird. Like, what happened? Yeah. Not many animatronics. There's a few. There's a couple. And everything did seem kind of handmade, which is charming, yeah. and I like yeah. that. Um, there were quite a bit of, like, just dark, like, tarp hallways type of thing. And then we went back to the old school. There was a really cool, like, looking ending scene where it was kind of like a, um, like, I guess glow-in-the-dark paint, like, old west town. Yeah. That was, that really, was really cool. Neat. Um... And then that was like, that's the final scene. Then you like leave after that. You go through that and like what looks like maybe what's supposed to be a barbershop. And then yeah, and you exit. Um, there was also like oh, a yeah, really cool there was temple a, and tomb yeah, area. Maybe. It was like concrete walls. <coughs> yeah, it was concrete walls, but there was like little like coves inside of them. And there were like skeletons and mummies and things like that in them, which was pretty neat. Yeah, there was like a bit of a, ca- like, at the very first there was like a bit of a mm-hmm. castle facade. Mm-hmm. Um... And then there was a witch's hut. That was that was cool. Mm-hmm. Those were like the bigger scenes that was in there. But I said a lot of it looked like it needed a little bit of TLC. Especially I remember the castle. A lot of it looked like the walls were kind of like yeah falling apart a little bit and stuff. Um, but yeah, for sets and props, we gave it a six point seven five. I like the old schoolness of it, but there just needs to, I don't know. It's just missing something. There, mm-hmm. ne- there needs to be a little bit more. Um, which I think something that else like it's hard. 
actors were probably the biggest problem that kind of tied everything in here. They're just, and I know a lot of places are having a hard time hiring people, but like, The Haunt, so something we complained about a little bit in our Frightful Review, if you watched it, is we said there weren't enough actors in some parts, but The Haunt is so elaborate and it's so long that you're distracted by the beauty of The Haunt. This Haunt yeah. doesn't really have that going for it, and I mean, there are sections where we went five plus minutes without a scare. With nothing, yeah. The whole maze at the end, not one actor our night. Not no, one. There was nobody in there. And we were stuck in these people ever. The only, the, our friend got jump scared because a person around the corner, but it was just someone else that got lost. <laughs> but no actual actors. And there wasn't even any, there wasn't one actor once we got to the maze. So there's that whole section that's like a cowboy western town. There was no nobody one, in there. No one was in there. Um, but yet they had like four people out and about like talking to guests and trying to scare them and it's like if you're that low in actors in the haunt just take them off and put them in the haunt right yeah um they did for some reason they were taking forever to send groups in we were sent with another group and it was a bunch of screaming teenagers so they only focused on them we had one one out of this almost 30 minute long experience actor try to scare our group mm -hmm. one yeah the only other jumps I had was from the stupid loud poppers because obviously I'm in a dark room and loud noises happen, I'm gonna jump. Um, there was like a cool kid that was kind of contorting a little bit. And again, he didn't try and scare us, but he was still doing his like, I don't know. He was like kind of flexible in a window. He was kind of cool. Um, we didn't really interact with any actors. There's a couple that had got done scaring them. And like once, once in a while, like they would even like come up and laugh at us because the, laugh with us because they scared the people in front of us. And I'm like, just cause we're older and we're not 15 doesn't mean that we don't want people to try and scare us. We right. paid to enter. Yeah, that's why we're there. Um, honestly, there's not much else to talk about actors. I would, if I had to guess for the whole thing, I would say maybe 10. I would say 10, yeah. And it's weird too because there's a couple parts. There's like one part I think where there was like three actors all together. Mm -hmm. And then you'd go for like minutes without anything. And I'm like, why were there three all grouped when they could have spread them out for yes like yeah yeah it needs work it's not good um said the actors there maybe they're good they didn't really interact with us though so i can't even say if the actors that were there were good they definitely seemed like they were kids the mm -hmm. actors um they were definitely younger again most of them just had like halloween masks on nothing really what i saw like any elaborate makeup that was much effort being put into there was a cool um Q, they don't have a Q here, but you know, a Q actor, I guess, if you will, that was like having people sign his costume and his mask and his hammer. That was kind of a cool yeah, idea. Yeah, that was neat. Um, but yeah, actors, unfortunately, we gave a 4.5. Um, yeah, we didn't get to experience that, you know? Yeah. We were there for a while. We waited probably 45 minutes to get in. Yeah, we waited a while. And yeah. not one ever tried to interact with us outside and none interacted with us inside beside the one kid that was dressed as corn. He went raw at us and that was literally it. <laughs> um, so yeah. So obviously that also affects scare factor. We didn't get scared. Besides the one guy and the little electricity things, we didn't get scared. Um, yeah. It is claustrophobic in spots and those spots would have been perfect to scare us. Um, and the maze can freak you out, I guess. If you don't, if you don't like mazes, they annoy me more than scare me. But I can understand how people would feel trapped and would feel scared. Because yeah. God knows there's no actor to ask for help anywhere <laughs> to see. I know. I was so worried I was going to hit an actor because there was enough room. There were spaces yeah. where they could have hid, but there was nobody there. Because at one point, I'm like this. I'm like, right. <clears throat> like the walls were like this far apart. Yep. And so my hands were out like this. And I'm like, I'm going to hit an actor. And I'd never hit an actor, which I was kind of disappointed about. Um, but yeah, it, it just, yeah, they definitely need to up that up. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it said this place, it's old school, which most old school haunts completely rely on actors for the scare. Mm -hmm. And since that wasn't existing, there was just really no scares. So we gave that a two, yeah. um, cause there just wasn't scares. Like, yeah. um, and then value, um, it is uh, pretty reasonable. Um, 20 bucks for general, 18 on Sundays, 35 for VIP. Not sure how VIP works actually. I'm assuming you I don't know. I didn't see a VIP line, but there's a VIP line. There's a line to get in for that, but they do online sales. So maybe you have like, I don't know. I don't know how it works. Maybe they just put you with the next group. Not sure. Because if it's grouped out, I don't know how VIP works. Yeah, how you would skip know. the line because there's not one. Um, we didn't do that. Because um, again, we had fun standing by the bonfire and just kind of vibing. Um, but yeah, they also do a season pass for 75 bucks, which what seemed to be really popular at this place is people dropping off their kids. 
mm-hmm. they kind of like like this is their babysitter for their teenager for the night essentially or whatever um which is you know is fine is cool uh we were definitely felt old there my god every like yeah most haunts have teenagers a fair amount of them yes this was like all teenagers all and teenagers. like four other people our age we yeah. got a little out of place yeah um, um they do have a thing where like a byob mm. Kind of thing, so you could hang out at the bonfire and bring your own beverage. Yeah, they don't sell alcohol, but you can bring. You your can own. bring your mm-hmm. own, so you can like chill by the bonfire while you wait for your haunted house or whatever. Yeah, if um, you go and plan on paying credit card, it's a two dollar and fifty cent upcharge to use a card. Yeah. Um, but again, I guess you can get online now. It did take us twenty eight minutes to get through, but again, I'd say ten minutes of that was in the maze. Yeah. So I'd say the haunt itself is about eighteen minutes long. Um, but with the maze, it's a decent length. Um, yeah. So the value would be good um, because it is cheap and it is decently long. Mm-hmm. This is, of course, the problem is is the fact that we felt that our night, at least, the quality wasn't really very good. Yeah. So for value, we gave it a six. Yes. Um, so for our overall score, we did give them a five. Yep. Um, and that's, you know, kind of say it's, it's average. I don't think it's terrible. And I think if... They can get more actors in there and get the ones that they have maybe better trained on actually like scaring people besides just the very first people in the group. Yeah. Um, I think that this could be a good experience. We apparently really enjoyed our experience in 2019. So <laughs> it is a shame that this is the experience we have. And we know that it's early in the year. But again, we have to review on what we saw. Yes. We don't know for sure if it'll get better. I really hope it does. And yeah. let us know in the comments if it did. And again, we're not trying to insult anyone. And I do think that there's merit of trying to go to this place for it it's not expensive no um and it is old school so if this sounds like something you'd be interested in seeing it because it is a very unique type of attraction yeah um i would say it's worth going to i would say it's worth going to it's definitely more of a local thing um and that it so that's nice i would like to come go back probably not next year but eventually i would like to go back and maybe try to go later in the year and just see if that experience is yeah. is better but um yeah, I mean, that pretty much does it for this review. Thank you very much for watching and liking. Make sure you are um, subscribing as well and ringing the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thank you very much. Bye. Watching. <laughs> Bye.